What is going on YouTube? XRN here, back it again with yet another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Metagame Breakdown, episode number 10. We are back. New box, new ban list, new skill rebalance. You know, let's just hit into it. In the new box, we finally have Orcus, Augustus, uh, Augustus, more like, pay to lose because that deck is very expensive. S-Force, and some support for some older decks like Galaxy Eyes. Automat and Chronomaly. Also, they finally released Compulse and Security Dragon, both selection box exclusive cards. Hopefully, the next one will have Crackdown, maybe. But yeah, let's go into it. Tier 1, we have Orcus. No longer Tier 1 was Phantom Knights, but here we have Orcus. Orcus is crazy. This deck, two cards equals full Orcus combo, practically. And there's so many different builds of Orcus, it's too many to keep track of. You got Crystal Bees, you have Pure, Gandora, you guys have Falafel Orcus, Ojama Orcus, like, what? Somebody tell me what there's Luna Light Orcus, and, and you got me. But, um, I'll talk about the different builds. Now, the Pure builds run Sealed Tombs, 3 effects, Switcheroo, or Life Point Boost Alpha. And the other, um, builds... I think they use the Gandora skill, I forget which one, and then Crystal Beast with Transcendent Crystals. To I think I think that one mills Crystal Beast, if I remember. Sorry if I if I'm kinda like out of the loop with some of these. But um Pure Orca says since the deck has no issue going first, they use going second text like Lancia, Cosmic Cyclone, and Mind Control. Lancia is a very good counter to Orcas. It's a really good hand trap. And I honestly recommend getting three of it if you don't have it already. Crystal Beast Orca has only two monsters establishing the field spell going first, with Gandora monsters going second to force back row. And Crystal Beast Orca is heavy reliant on opening Crystal Beacon to combo. This version plays the best under Lancia. Beacon also has the effect of spell summon with Crystal Beast from your deck. If you have two or more Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap zone to activate and resolve this. So, yeah, a lot of the meta is feel it feels like it's kind of shifted to beat Orcus since most of the build most of the decks I've seen have been running Lancia. Nearly every deck I've seen in the tournament setting have been running Lancia. So, yeah, next we have tier 2 DDD. This deck can search Lancia, which is definitely a big plus, and the new limit and the new unlimit. Yeah, it's still pretty good. I'm seeing. I'm kind of uh, eating my words on this saying that the deck used to be copium and it doesn't feel like it's in it. This deck is either go first with its draw 3 combo or its pushes with big bodies for OTK. So yeah, next we have the tier 3. We have Chronomaly, Elemental Heroes, Onomat, Resonators, Sulfur Chords, and Phantom Knights. Oh boy, Phantom Knights, what a fall from grace. This deck was tier 1 for a few months, and <laughs> it got power crept out. <laughs> really, I, I remember thinking about how broken this deck was, but I guess I was wrong after that. But Chronomaly, they got a new card called Chron Chronomaly Venmana. It's really good, it's basically a negate for the deck, and it can easily... It has a nice synergy with Barrage Blast and its Recycle effect to easily grind game, out grind game your opponent. Very good card. Next we have Heroes. They're, they Since they banish cards, it's kind of a side effect to Artifact Lancia because they need to banish for Miracle Fusion and PKs need to banish for their Graveyard effects. Also, it says that they have dropped they down there to Due to a lack of representation, skill nerf didn't really do much, though. <laughs> yeah, it had a minor impact on it. That's what it says. So you have Onomat, a deck that can OTK because they have Utopia. They have Utopia the Lightning now. Very good. And um, I think there's some other some other new card in the box. I forget the name of it. It's another Onomat card. Now. Though the fact that Onomatopera is in a selection box, which does kind of suck for other players to pick up. So yeah. It can also set up Beatrice because Gaga got sister. Gaga sister can easily make it to a level 6. And Beatrice can dump Farfa on your opponent's turn to interrupt your opponent. Very good. 
top of there. Though all the Autobat builds I've seen, none of them run. I don't think like any of them use Yuma. I think it was like one build that I saw that used Yuma. But um, yeah, it's I saw one top four and I think a top four, top eight, and top sixty at Meta Weekly. I don't know if I'm correct on this. So yeah. Resonators and Sulfacore really don't care about Lancia, so it's fine. But um but Resonator does lose to DD Crow. Now we have off the list, we have Heroes, S Force, and oh man. Salaman Great. No, no. Salaman Great was the best was probably the um longest running Vrains era deck for right now seven months strong multiple hits and yeah the new band was kind of ruined it definitely um uh yeah definitely heroes so yeah um now i think the difference between heroes and elemental heroes is heroes don't use the one that gives you a free super poly i don't if i'm correct on this feel free to correct me so yeah um and it's another it's another deck that also can pretty lose to um artifact lancia so you have salaman great now i haven't seen a lack i haven't seen much representation of the deck i still do feel that it's good it's just better stuff to use at the moment like um obviously orcus and s force Sadly, is not gonna. I think it was um high potential last week. The deck is decent. It has floodgates. I lost to it at a tournament, so yeah. It, I'm just gonna say it's pretty good. It, it is a fairly expensive deck, though. Now, do I think Salve Great could make a comeback? Maybe if you have the right pilot, I feel like it could make a comeback. Now, some of the other decks from the skill rebalance and or ban list I want to talk about. World Chalice and obviously Code Talker Salaman Great. World Chalice is practically dead because of the skill change to um the skill change to Labyrinth Builder because that was the spellbook version and that basically just ruined the entire deck. You can't special summon after you use that, so yeah. And then Salaman Great Code Talker really got hit during the balance i feel like it didn't need to be hit at all it was a fine deck it wasn't too broken in my opinion but it, it, i guess it happens it, it dominated the kc cup it won the k entire kc cup and yeah so with cross swipe at one there really isn't much with going for the deck all they really have to rely on is uh i guess firewall bounce but yeah um Anyways, that is going to be it for the metagame breakdown. Do you think? Do you guys think that Orcas could be tier 0? In my opinion, probably not since um, the, everyone's teching in Lancia. But I feel like it maybe could be tier 0. But it, we just have to see in the next coming weeks. Hopefully the next box with the Yugos unlocked may be decent. We're going to be getting Speedroids. Some pretty good Speedroid support maybe. And obviously Speedroid reprints. So, yeah, um, anyways, that's the end of today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. We're back on the grind, you already know. We're back with the metagame breakdowns. I'm gonna be back with more Duel Links content as usual. Anyways, guys, my name is X Arena, and I'm out. See ya. Peace.